Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this kind of dramatic green makeup look. I am planning on doing like Christmas makeup looks obviously before Christmas comes along just so you guys can have an idea of maybe what you guys want to do for Christmas in case you don't know what you're doing. And this look right here was actually inspired by, I think her YouTube name is Valet Lauren. No, her YouTube name is actually called Valeria Lauren. So this makeup look that I have right now was actually inspired by her. She actually did the, almost the same thing, um, but she did blue eyeshadow, which her look looks really, really nice as well. But I actually wanted to try a different color, and this is actually what I came up with. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look right here then just keep on watching so we're gonna start with the eyes just because the eyes are gonna be a little bit more dramatic I don't want it to fall on my foundation if I were to do that first I do have a little bit of mascara that I wore, uh, wore earlier today and I do have it just a little bit like smeared under my eyes so I'm going to go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Fair 001. You guys, if you've watched me, you know I use this to set my eyes. These are, this is one of my favorite concealers to use um, for setting like my eyeshadow. Not setting my eyeshadow, but like prepping my eyelid for the shadows. I'm actually just going to smear it with my finger. And then just going in with any clear eyeshadow just to set that cream base. And I'm going to use the shade Rollin' in Dough from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, which is this shade right here. Alright, for the next shades, I'm going to grab these two shades from the James Charles palette. And this is the big edition one. I know he came out with like a smaller version of this, but I have this one. So I'm going to be using these two shades right here. And I'm just going to be blending those two. I'm actually going to focus those shades in my crease and then blending it upward just a little bit just to create that transition shade and don't mind my crazy hair I actually haven't done it because I do want to film an updated routine on how I straighten my hair so that video will either be going up before this video or after I'm not sure yet and as you guys can tell, I did change my background, obviously. I know you guys probably saw it in my last video in the what's in my bag. I kind of do like switching my background ar around because I honestly get bored very, very easily with the same background. If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing this with this top, it's because this hairband is actually very comfortable um, other ones that I have are kind of tight so it makes my head hurt and I really needed something that's gonna take my hair away from my face alright guys so we're gonna move on to these two shades right here and we're just gonna be mixing those two so we're gonna focus that deep into the crease Make sure that's very well blended too with the transition shade. And I am extending these colors a little bit more like out here just because it is going to be like a more cut eye look and I just stained myself with eyeshadow. So after you clean up what you messed up, you continue blending. 
And if you guys see me looking over here a lot, it's because I'm looking at my like computer, which is like my monitor, making sure it's focused. We're gonna move on to this shade right here. We're just gonna intensify that um, inner, no, not inner, the um, crease and a little bit of the outer corner, just a little bit more. Now for the fun part, we're actually gonna cut the crease. And of course, first I'm gonna go in with the Sharp Tape, Sh Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this trick all over YouTube or like the makeup community where you like raise up your eye or your lid. That way you know where like your eyelid is hitting the top lid, I guess, if that makes sense. And that way that's where you want to, that's where you want to extend your cut crease. Before I go in with any like shimmer shade or whatever shade I, I want to apply on top, I do want to set, set that crease. So I'm using the same um, eyeshadow that we used earlier, which is this shade right here, to set the cut crease. That way it's not moving and kind of just blends in with the other shade. If you go straight in with whatever shade you want to go in with, it's going to smear. Unless you're patting it like this, then that's fine. Now for the fun color. Um, I do want to use the shade called Money Bags from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and it's actually this green shade right over here in this corner and it's a really beautiful green. So once I already set that green shade how I like it, I'm going to just intensify the outer corner just a little bit. And I'm actually going to go in with this brown shade right here from the palette. And I'm going to go in with that same tapered smaller brush. And then I'm just going to blend that in so we don't have any harsh lines. I just went in with the brush, picked up some shadow, and then I'm just going to spray it. It doesn't make a huge difference, honestly, but it makes, I think, a little bit of a difference. Alright guys, I'm actually going to move on to the liner part. I'm going to be using this 
this one from Stila, the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Then I'm probably just going to add like a little bit of mascara and then move on to the foundation. Alright, so we're going to move on to foundation, and as you guys know, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, and I'm actually just going to clean up this shadow just a little bit. And what I'm actually just going to do is apply it on directly to my face. Then moving on to concealer. And I actually like to let the concealer sit there for just a few seconds just so it can get a little bit thicker and that way when I blend it it's not too liquidy. Alright guys, I'm going to go in and blend, I mean blend, I'm going to go in and set my under eye concealer with the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. I'm going to go in with this Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick. I've used these in one of my previous videos and you guys know I love these because it blends super super easily so I'm gonna use just a tiny bit to contour and I'm actually gonna blend that in with this Real Techniques buffing brush So I am going to bronze up my face just a little bit and I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Murmuru Mur Mur Butler Bronzer Palette which is this one right here. And then I'm going to add some contour with the Kat Von D um, contour palette and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade right here. And I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. And lightly just apply that on the cheeks. It's 
All right, guys, so my camera actually turned off while I was finishing up my blush, but I just went ahead and did my nose contour a little bit and then my eyebrows. I'm actually going to move on to blending out the eyeshadow just a little bit. Of course, for lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Nude Beige Lip Pencil and I'm going to outline my lips with that. And for gloss, I'm going to go in with this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Toffee, which is this very nudish color. A little bit of mascara. Just a little because I am going to go in with lashes. So, I, so I'm actually going to go in with this glitter eyeliner. And I think this one is from BH Cosmetics. Yeah. This one is from BH Cosmetics. And it's actually like a goldish shade. Alright guys, so that gold shade or that gold glitter is not working as well. So I'm just going to go in with this silver one. And this one is actually from Hard Candy, which looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I don't know the name of these because I lost the packaging. I'm actually gonna go back to the James Charles palette and I'm gonna grab this like darker greenish shade right here and I'm actually gonna focus that all over the um, lower lash line but I'm focusing it probably a little bit more on the outer portion of the eye Alright guys, I think that's what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. I think I wanted to add like a darker shade, maybe like on the outer part of the eye. But I'm really liking how this is looking. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara to my bottom lashes. Alright guys, so this completes this makeup look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this first Christmas makeup look. I do want to do a few more makeup looks before obviously Christmas. I want to do maybe like a more like natural look with a maybe like dramatic lip or something like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more Christmas looks. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one right here. And as always, if you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos from me. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.